played here 14 times. Pick pretty much any music that you want. They've been here at Sam Boyd. We are here now. Bill Seward alongside former New Zealand Sevens captain Carl Tadana. Fiji and Samoa getting ready for their Pool A showdown, and they have some familiarity, Carl. Oh, most definitely, Bill. And if you like big hits, you like the physicality part of the game, well, strap yourselves in, because this one will be high octane, and it will be hard. Last time they got together was in that cup final at Gold Coast in October, and Fiji prevailed 31 to 24. You see the starting lineups. The venerable one, Lolo Louie, the captain for Samoa. And on the other side, a guy that can light it up on the scoreboard, Osea Kalinasau, the seven for Fiji. Yeah, probably one of the best players on the circuit for Fiji. Osea Kalinasau, there he is. Yeah, he really has taken his game to another level. Just getting some last instructions from his coach, Ben Ryan. Yeah, Ben Ryan, six years with England, five cups produced by that one. Kalinasau and Louie getting ready to step on. Ryan now with Fiji, and in the pool, it is Samoa, Wales, and New Zealand. And on to the pitch at Sam Boyd Stadium. Thanks for watching. Being one of the 220 million homes, over 120 countries, and it is the HSBC Sevens World Series. This is stop five. Four more to go. Hong Kong in March, Japan in April, Scotland in May, and then a second one in May in England. And there is Matt O'Brien, your referee for the contest from Australia. Putting in some uh, time, Carl. 121 matches he's called now. Yeah, he's going to need every one of those for this game. I tell you what, this is the first time I've seen Lolo Louis with that expression on his face. He is intense straight off the bat. Samoa ninth in the overall standings. Fiji is third. Now they're swapping sides of the field. For Samoa, last year at Vegas, lost third place to Canada, while Fiji won the bowl final over Kenya. Fiji in white, Samoa in blue. This a pool showdown between the two. We are ready to go. High in the air it goes, and taken first of all by Fiji, and Oseo Kalinasau tosses it outside. A whistle blows it up, and they'll bring it back with a knock-on and a scrum to Fiji. Yeah, great bit of defense here from Samoa Tolo. I think it wasn't Juzi 11 coming off his line and making the hit. He knew he was outnumbered, and that put the pressure on that full pass. This is the 65th meeting between these two teams. Fiji holding the advantage 44-17-3. and three. Packing down on the Samoan side is uh, Greg Foy, along with Ralph Tuliava'a. And quickly it goes on the blind side. It's left off for the Fijian, Katanambao. And Asaki taken to the ground. Back comes Fiji on the motor. Kunatani picked up, thrown down by Niua. The ruck for it, a whistle. Off the feet, a penalty there. Yeah, good work there, I think it was from Semi Kunatani. He's an important player for Fiji. He's one of the best forwards going around on the circuit. But he wants the ball to go to the left-hand side where his speed is. Jerry Tuai, wearing the nine for Fiji. Outside it goes to Rawapa, picked up by his 11, Taloa, and into touch. Kind of uh, uncommon that uh, you would see that ball going into touch like that. Yeah, great play there from Samoa. It's Dicky Tufua, the coach for Samoa. He's also intense. He's on the edge of the sea, too. Always heavily supported here, aren't they, the Samoans? Most definitely. And Dicky, uh, 18 caps for him, a prop for Samoa, a try against Wales. Ask him about it sometime. I'm sure he'd be happy to tell you. Samoa with possession. Just under five minutes to go in the first half. Seven-minute halves until we get to the cup final. And that last one's going to be ten-minute halves. Tololo taken down. Nua to the turf. Toloa spins at the left side. Nice job uh, by Lavasa trying to fight through. And back it comes to Fiji. 
on the ground, but it bounced right up into the hands of Kalinasau. The ball gets out of there, and away goes Fiji as Viri Viri. Yes, sir. Can I be the first to say? Do it, Bill. Do it. Very, very good. <laughs> well, no argument from me. Viri Viri did some great work at the breakdown. He comes in here, shapes to go left, goes to the right-hand side. Everyone had chased over for Samoa. What a good physical start here from Fiji. The 2014 Player of the Year, World Rugby Sevens. Samasoni Viri Viri coming back from uh, Montpellier in France, and the kick is through in a 7-0 lead. As you see, the all-time try leaders for Fiji, some great names uh, on top of that one, Carl. Oh, most definitely, and I'm sure he's going to score a few more over the weekend. But now for me, Samoa, they've had no ball, they've done a lot of tackling. Have they got the reply? With a 7-0 lead, the captain for Fiji, Osea Kalinasau, ready to restart. The 97 and 05 Rugby World Cup Sevens champs and the 06 World Series champions. A little off the mark there, so taking it up at halfway will be Samoa, Saninua, the Tololo, Kuliaba'a is taken down by Kunatani right at the 22. Spun back the other way by Tololo. Feeling a little more free. Lavasa counters inside. Flings it back. Nicely done by Nua. Taken down by Katanambao. 7-0 Fiji with two and a half minutes to go. Man outside is Lolo Louie. Louie looking for Toloa. Toloa keeping it alive. Need some help, get some. The clean out, Lolo Louie. Like you spinning through an entry to a hotel. Lavasa comes back and Rupena Lavasa might have dropped one out the Bombay door there before he hit the chalk. Oh, they've done all the hard work. Have Samoa. Knock on and go. Five minutes come. Yeah, first glance, Bill, I'm with you. I thought he knocked it on as well. Luatha is the one coming in defense. Look, slapping the ball down. Yeah, good call. Excellent. The only pressure there was the ball against his shoulder. He was pulling it to him. He couldn't get it downward on the turf. So it remains 7 to nothing, and the scrum awarded to Fiji. Rapena Lavasa, the teacher with the six caps on the 15 side. And away goes Jerry Tawai. Spins it back to Katanambao. Kalinasau gets it out of there, and it's a little free-flowing at times, Carl. It produces some great moves. Why don't you get a number, please? They call it getting up. As Kalinasau taken to turf. Geez, they're good to watch, though, aren't they, Bill, when they're offloading at will the number Fijians. Seven, and now number seven for Samoa getting talking seven, to the please. captain. The referee, Matt O'Brien, pulling a card. I think Lolo Louie's going to have a seat for a couple of minutes. So he'll be gone for the rest of the first half. It will be seven on six. On. Uh, Fiji with the advantage. Here's the last breakdown. It's Lavasa on the ball. I don't know if Lolo Louie was involved. I think it was something uh, well prior to that as Kunatani fighting it off and in turn finds Viri Viri. And yes, you can say, Sammy, put it down. Well, I can tell you from personal experience, it's hard enough defending with seven on seven, but six on seven, well, even tougher for Samoa, and they make them pay straight away. Kunatani just offloads his ball, the left hand. And isn't it great to see an athlete in slow mo? Easy as you please. Summer Sonny, Vidi Vidi. Oh, you got to love it. 52 tries last season. 52. I mean, you played, you had what, 113? Yeah. Over a long period. <laughs> No, I mean, <laughs> believe me, that's great. But when you think of a, having a season where you pump in 52 of them, and you make an excellent point, it's one thing when it's me and my buddies trying to run it too, and 
on the restart. Taken away by Very Very. Looking for the hat trick, and he does to the corner. When you're down a man and it's Fiji looking across at you, that's a different game. Don't really want to be involved in that a whole lot. Well, again, Kunatani, the aerial skills there. He tried to knock it back. It didn't happen for him, but he kept his mind about him, took the ball, and then just offloaded it to Viri Viri. Sometimes it just goes your way, and it has his first half for the number 10 for Fiji. 6-1, 194, five tries at Wellington for him, a participant in Rugby World Cup 7s at Moscow. This is 18th event. Samasoni Viri Viri. And a 19 to nothing lead for Fiji at the intermission. talking about excellence he wants his team still keep that high level of play don't worry about the opposition you got to get that first try reminded him in the Gold Coast how they were up early let Samoa back in the game they don't want to repeat no don't want to repeat and emphasizing once again hey we need that first one that puts us up 26 nothing then we're talking a different ball game if you allow them to score first then they're 12 points back two scores Exactly, I'm sure that's what Dicky Tofu was saying. He also spoke about getting possession, getting the ball. You haven't done anything yet. Smoke. Carl's workout partner for one of his three workouts today that he got in before I even got out of bed this morning. Fiji and Samoa. And on the second half kick, the knock on. I'm being a little facetious, but it was. How many workouts today? No, I just did the one. Just did oh, the just one. The but it's, one. It's, it's, it's too easy to eat all the beautiful food over here, Bill. Yeah, yeah tell me about it. <laughs> Fiji, though, are just dominating in the air at the moment, Bill. Again, the kickoff just not going their way, but Samoa, they just have to aim up, muscle up, and get a solid platform from the set piece. Fiji looking for a little better effort than last year at the. the USA sevens and Lavasa weaving his way through. Does he have support? Flinging it out, sort of. The Tulia Voa reaching in is Tololo. They go left side and Lavasa to Toloa. Back it comes to Nua. Had a chance for a moment, Carl. Once it slows down and Fiji allowed to sort of reorganized defensively it's a bit tougher Toloa and Tololo runs into Kunatani Lolo Louie back out of the sin bin well they're making a lot of passes Carl but they're not moving north south yes yeah, very natural at the moment Bill and now Fiji are putting in that strong physical defense as we all what they're known for Tunatani I I'm not sure if there's more than one one jersey out there <laughs> the guys all over the yard <laughs> Kuliavaa he's penned in Rawatha letting them know
Under five minutes to go, and Lolo Louie with the good fan. Lolo Louie going to try to power his way, bouncing one and turn to, to Lolo. Down goes to Loa. Hands in there, and somebody's off their feet, I believe, and that's the whistle blowing it up. Oh, great defense, Fiji. Well done right across the park. Outstanding. So he took a hit just from one of the cleanouts here to the Fiji and player. But Samoa, just all a bit too individual. Bill, one player would have a go, then another player. They weren't connected and attacking as a team. Not sure if that's Jerry Tuai. We're in the nine for Fiji. He was in on the side there. He's right at the bottom of your picture, and I think he got a little cranium hit. Talked to Jerry at the at the hotel and wants to be a pastor. And there's times when it's very unpastor-like, I'm sure, out on the pitch for Jerry, and that might have been one of those moments. But uh, a very nice fan, and uh, we hope he's feeling a little better. Four and a half minutes to go. Here. Matt O'Brien. Yeah. Well, giving Lula Lula. Is, be careful. Yeah, he's just telling them to be careful there with their clean I thought it was all right. Play on. It's a tough sport. <laughs> Step back, Carl. I have a taser. <laughs> Coach Ben Ryan looking at his squad. Wanted it to push one across and take a at least 24 or 26 to nothing lead in the second half. Emosi Mulavoro wearing the eight. He is into the contest for Fiji. So is uh, Sitaveni Wanka. And there is Very Very. Nice pass to Jerry. No, no, not Jerry. Emosi Mulavoro, who came in for Jerry Tawai. And Mulavoro going to put it down for Fiji and a 24 0 lead. So Coach Ben gets what he wants. Just the offloads are killing them at the moment. Fiji, just the timing. When they get it, so tough to defend. You can get offloads at Conte. Kunatani has been a beast this game all over the park on defense and attack. Just here, very, very times his pass brilliantly, draws in the sweeper, and from here, no one in front. And look at that powerful run by the number eight, Mose Mulivoro. Mulivoro with 26 points at uh, Wellington in 14. He had 33 points in this tournament last year. And the conversion attempt off the mark, but Fiji holding a 24-0 lead with 3.23 to go. The thing that amazes me, Carl, is the ability to drag out that offload. It's, you know, I'd be getting rid of the ball when you look at me, but when they come up and they hit and they wrap and still able to hold on to the last second and then commit. That's what draws all the defense across, and they're able to do it time and time again. It's just so tough to defend when in this mood. So Samoa has some serious work done with a goose egg on the board, and Fiji may be looking for some more. There wasn't a knock on there. Yes, but there wasn't. Attila Mialoy had it for a moment in the air and taken down. Big time hit by Yasavera Malua, and somehow keeping it alive is uh, Samoa Taloa. Sam Franklin wearing the one for Samoa. The youngster spent some time in Christchurch. Played some league rugby. There is no loss of energy coming into that ruck. Gregory Foy puts it out. Taken up by Fiji. Vera Malua spins it to Kalinasau. Kalinasau, man outside, a little delay, but it should be enough for Revolvo. Yes! Well, a couple of beautiful passes there. First from the number one, Kunatani again, and then we'll see a Kalinasau. Bill Walso, just the timing, the recognition. Outstanding. Right in the middle of the uh, tornado and able to keep his presence is Kalinasau, and that results in getting that ball outside to Revovo. And Vatimo puts it down. And a 29-0 Fiji lead pending this conversion attempt by Kalinasau. That's not going to make it. So 29-0 with uh, 
77 seconds remaining in this Pool A showdown between Fiji and Samoa. Disappointment on the Samoan side. Really haven't got a whole lot done. Haven't had a whole lot of ball. Yeah, we Fiji have been so good. They've out bullied the bully. By that, it's been so physical, and Samoa just haven't been able to get their plan, game plan in the fit. On a bounce, Number and it one. goes down. We talked a little Deliver bit earlier Sanchez. about this pitch, and it at the 58 instead of 70 meters, and so it's a little tighter pitch, which usually bode well for Samoa over the years. Uh, as the step by Ruvovo looking for yet another five points. But it doesn't seem to be uh, beneficial for Samoa this year. Samoa the 2010 World Series champs. And the kick forward allowed to play on. Taloa picks it up in the corner, gets some pressure by Ruvovo. And close to touch with 15 seconds to go. If you're Ben Ryan, as the uh, intended pass by Mialoy, knocked down by Kunatani, coming back the other way, Kalinasau, the offload. Here comes Kunatani. Semi Kunatani, the farmer, plants one on Samoa. In more ways than one, he's been huge on defense, and I'm glad. He's got some reward because he's distributed the ball, he's set up tries, he stopped them, and now he scores one himself. Semi Kunatani is so aware of where he's supposed to be on the park. Jeez, he is a beast, I'll tell you. Yeah, 6 3 and uh, 2 13. And the conversion off the mark 36 to nothing. Fiji. A victor over Samoa. heat things up in the blink of an eye in Vegas and speaking of which we're about to warm things up big time with our next combatants as the Fijians and Wales get set to do battle so it'll it'll be a big one and it'll be sort of sort of match where Fiji no doubt will look to open up post a big score that's what they'll be looking for, sure, no doubt about it. You hit the nail on the head. They started fast and hard against Samoa. And again, what they want to do against Wales. And some key players to look out for. Simi Kunitani for Fiji. They have gone to him often, and he's delivered for his side in recent games. Oh, he's been a monster in all facets of play. He's just so good, and I think one of the best forwards on the circuit at the moment. Don't discount this Welsh team. They have players in the middle of the park that can threaten, like Harry's and Luke Morgan, Ellen Thomas, their work in the middle. If they're able to get enough constant position, they'll be threats. As they charge onto the park for the second time tonight, Fiji and Wales get set to do battle at the Sam Boyd Stadium. Around 25 minute drive from the heart of Vegas, from the strip. That hasn't stopped the punters coming out and they'll continue to flood through across the weekend. Big numbers predicted in terms of ticket sales. So they're enjoying it here in Nevada, and we hope that you're enjoying it too. If you're watching on in Cardiff or on the Coral Coast, hello to you in Fiji. No doubt you are getting set to cheer loudly for your country. So to those of you on Queen Street in Wales, Cardiff. Good luck to both your sides as they chase a win here in Pool A action. HSBC Sevens World Series continues here in Vegas, and that's a beautiful take right off the kickoff. Kunatani breaks clear. Semi Kunatani sets free. Viliama Mata, that is a big punch off the kickoff. 15 seconds. Yep. That's got to be the quickest try in the tournament so far. Smiles all around, and they are just vibing at the moment, Fiji. Look at this. 
Gunatani only has eyes for the ball, takes it down two hands, and then he's off. Has a look up, realizes where the sweep is, times his pass to perfection. Two big men on the fly, beautiful to watch. Liam and Mata, 15 seconds gone. 15 gone, seven on the board. Wales look up and go, what? What happened? We just kicked the ball, we're down by seven. Go Fiji, go, they say in the stands. Extraordinary start from the Fijians. And now they will take the ball and give Wales a chance. Can they counter in similar fashion? Let's see. That's loose and tap back. And now Kunitani coming through. This guy is just all jacked up for a huge tournament. He'll look to get back and cover here. This is good build up. And who else? Semi Kunitani saves the day. Now fires it across to Rawatha. Rawatha breaks clear from one. Rawatha, Rawatha over the 22. Forget the chase, save your legs. Rawatha's going to grab Fiji second. How many Kunitanis are there on the field? <laughs> He's everywhere. He's not catching the ball, making tackles, and getting back and saving it. But look at this. The Watha, there's two defenders in front of him. The third drifts off, and there's no sweeper. You've got to make your tackles, Wales, and they're not at the moment. There it is. A little clap from the try scorer. Happy with, no doubt, the work done by Semi Kunatani. And it's a blitz early Fiji lead, 14 0. That's the huge support here for Fiji. On the right end of the field as we look at it. Oh, tough team to stop when they're in this mood short. So Wales just need to hang tough for the time being and try and maintain a bit of possession because Fiji are looking like they want to really do some serious damage on the scoreboard. Very two eye. This is first touch, seemingly of this game. And across we come now to Rawafa. Just storming over the top and laid the pass on. It's going to be play on, and we're going to have three. Three tries, Fiji. They are going ballistic in Vegas. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Some good kickoffs by this man, the captain, the try scorer. I see a Kalini Sao, but look at that, that is power. He throws the ball inside, does the Wafa, and sometimes it just goes your way off the boot of the captain as well. Kalini Sao. And then the put down, too easy. Well, you've got to feel for Wales. They are down 21 0. They've hardly touched the ball. Over the quick replacement what do you do in this situation if you are Wales well for me just got to get your hands on the ball here any way you can just got to be physical it's no use going wide that plays into the hands of Fiji so you go up the middle of the park and just try and get the ball some way somehow backwards of white it's come back for Fiji so luck going to Wales there which is nice for them so they at long last, get their hands back on the ball, and now they'll be able to maintain possession and at least get through a couple of phases of play. Though that's good work, the breakdown from Fiji. Trouble here, Ooh, rushing up and landing a good shot was Katoni Bow. Now they tow ahead right under the cosh again of Wales. Seems like there are 700 Fijians on the park at the moment, not just seven. Here they come again. One pass over the top, tap forward by Wales, so that should be a advantage to Fiji, it is. Jerry Tuai stops, goes again, and now we'll go back for the penalty. They just can't find a trick at the moment, Wales, and he goes quickly, Tuai. Tuai, short little flat ball, and it's tapped on now and scooped up. Great hands there by Colin Nisau. It's going to come wide to Rawatha, and we'll go back. Okay. Ben Ryan will be pretty happy. I'd say I 
Remember him saying in the first game, play like you're supposed to, like you should be. And that's at a higher level. And I think his team has done that, especially on defence. That's where they've been so impressive. His first couple of games, their line speed has really cut down the time of decision making of the opposition. So Wales will feed the scrum via the captain, Nicky Griffiths. He's in charge for this one, and they try to wrap around it, held up, and then rushing through and landing a big tackle. And now forcing the penalty was Rawatha. On they go again, coming off, cruising over Koli Nisau. The captain is in. This is carnage. Yeah, just ill discipline from Wales. It cost them in the first game against New Zealand. They had two yellow cards. And that one on this occasion, just not back to 10. Penalty after penalty, then your own 22. And these guys are just offloading that wheel, going up the middle of the park as they said Wales should do. They're not executing. They're having to throw arms rather than shoulders out. And well, Colini Sal, he's one of the best players on the circuit, gets his double. And the additional two are good, so it is 28 nil to Fiji, just five and a half gone. And they are running a rough shot over Wales at the moment. It's all started for the dominance at kickoff time for Fiji. This guy's making it so contestable for his jumpers. And they're just dominating at the moment. Such a luxury to be able to get your ball back. And it's now seven on six with Will Harry's sin. Bind. Get him in there. So this is going to be super tricky for Wales. Six on seven. Sliding under the tackle. Well, Waffa there. And they salvage something before the break. Wales ask some questions. That's a nice touch. A great pick up as well. This is going to be a wonderful try. If he can get there, the toe to the line is sufficient via Samuel Cross. Great work, Wales. Oh, they needed something, didn't they? Individual brilliance here from Wales. A chip over the top, just a bit of variation. Caught Fiji unawares. Here it is here. Nice regather too. And the impasse for great support. Play from Sam Cross. Good work, Wales. Exactly what they needed before the half. They needed something. So five tries in this first half. No doubt you're enjoying it wherever you're watching on. They're certainly loving it here at the Sandboy Stadium in Las Vegas, Nevada. Stop five on the HSBC Sevens World Series. Action at plenty. Here they go again. The little grubber through. Great catch there. Super take from the Welsh number eight, Alec Jenkins. First play in. But then isolated. Holding on. So they'll be forced to close out this half via the shoulders and put some work in the defence. We call that forward. I think that will do us for the first half between Fiji and Wales. And it is Fiji leading 28 points to seven. Well, they are the American Seven Sweethearts, they're known as. I love coming to work, Sean. Yeah, well, some days are easier than others, aren't they? And uh, well, that certainly sweetens the deal. And speaking of sweet deals, TG looks to have done enough, maybe in that first half, to cruise away to the cup final. Yes, yeah, so, look, you see that kind of dancing up and down the strip, don't you? A lot of nightclubs here in Vegas. So if you want to shake it like that, there's so many spots to do it here. Well, apparently you've tried to find every single one. <laughs> shot, so I'll take your word for it. Not a chance. But Not a it, chance. Isn't it interesting to see just there was good vision there. We went right into the huddle and the Fijians having a little prayer. That's before they go into the second half. Just the difference is the way teams approach the game. It's really unique and I really love it. It was all Fiji in the first half, and they'll be looking to continue that here in the second. That's a well-weighted kick. It looked forward off the hands of the Fijians. Indeed, it was. So, Wales maintain possession here. 
Lounge over and they work the fringes and just kind of angling back in field is Griffiths and with those long looping passes comes a threat of a big Fijian shoulder on your midship. So now they do well to clear it to Luke Morgan, who's a really elusive, dangerous runner, Morgan. Back we come again. This better from Wales. Just tuck that one back. So a minute straight possession here for Wales. Can they make it count against the Fijians going across again to Morgan? Ducks under a big tackle. And that left touch line and this penalty will help as well. Let's see if they can parlay into some points. Make it back-to-back -back tries against the Fijians after going around 28 nil early, Wales. Griffiths digs it out. Now the switch across. To Dan Fish, nice show and go, and now he does switch and looks to open up the danger man, Morgan. Wales score back to back tries. And that's the way you play Fiji, Sean. You take it into the setup, you get a quick clean out, quick half back, and release the ball, make them chase it, get them tired, make them go to deck. You see their hands on hips in the background, that's a lazy tackle as well. It's just way to possession for Wales, and they're just showing what they can produce when they put it all together. So, it is now Fiji 28, Wales 14. This happens sometimes to the Fiji, and mentally they switch off in games. And they're in trouble right here because if Wales get another try, they're in this one for sure. Well, they maintained possession for very nearly two minutes there, Wales, basically off the recommencement of the second half, and that's good work too on the chase. So, there's a bit of light here for the Welsh. They go quickly. This is promising and then Griffiths dummied and got round one before being buried into the turf inside the 22. Show and go. Good leg drive in contact there from Alec Jenkins. Can they make it? Three tries on the bounce against Fiji. Spinning out of one there was Griffiths, the captain. All the territory, all the possession, Wales, and now having a dabble at the line and getting there. Big time score from Alan Jenkins, and Wales somehow are still alive. Oh, don't you love the game of sevens? In the first half, you would have thought Fiji's going to put on 50, but no. Wales showing their ticket. They don't have to speed it up. They just need to take their time. And three tries, back to back to back. Bit of confidence, and oh yeah, they're back all right, Short. Okay. I'm gonna put this has been a sensational on. game, Keep and we've up. still got plenty more action to bring you folks. 3.30 left on the clock. He'll have a break the try scorer. There'll be conversion attempt trying to draw it back in through the sticks. It's a way to the left, so score remains. 28 to 19, Fiji over Wales. <laughs> Screaming like a dragon. <laughs> okay. Got ourselves a nine point game now, and once again, Wales scoop it up. Fiji have not touched the ball in this second half. Extraordinary stuff from the Welsh. That's come loose. That could be trouble. Oh, it's pulled back, knocked on from Fiji. Knocking off a white hand. Wales are really dominated because of that stat right there. 37 passes competed compared to Fiji's eight. Maybe it's because of that kid who's not on the field now. Simi Kudatani, so integral. Crouch. Also, if you're going to make here as well. Second highest for Fiji this season, but this is the time Wales need a strike. This is the game. Griffiths clears it. A penalty advantage coming, so errors compounding here and then easing onto the accelerator around the corner. Pass. Oh, mama! This is unbelievable. Harry's is in. Wales 
are making a game of it big time. Unbelievable. Absolutely. This Welsh team showing a lot of pride. Playing some good football. And just the right foot step there. Backs himself and watch the timing of this pass. Look at that. Undefendable. Puts his player away and now it's down to the kick. And the kick is the land that's somewhere near the mountains out the back of Sam Boyd Stadium. It's away by a mile, but we're back to a one try game. Fiji 28, Wales 24. Keep in mind, Wales trailed 28 nil. Fiji scored inside the first 15 seconds of the game. And now the daffodils are into it. Everyone's pumped up. Grandstand finish on the way here in Vegas. Solid take there from Katoni Bow. But Wales will come away. Fiji need to get men to the breakdown. They do. It's scrappy. It's Fijian feed to the scrum coming up. Oh. Fijian coach Ben Ryan, what's he thinking right now, Carl Tanana? Well, he wants a solid scrum. He wants some position to kick it downtown. It's come down to who's dominated from kickoff in the first half. Fiji had, every, had everything. In the second half, Wales have made a huge comeback because they've been able to retain their ball from kickoff. You're a betting man, red or white. Put 50 on it, go on. I'm going to burn your put Ian's. I'll take, I'll take the Welsh to perhaps pin them though. Here come Fiji clearing one of their rangy big runners. Wanga, he's tossed it away. And now Wales need numbers to get back. Wales in possession, four point game. One try will do it. Don't worry about the extras. Griffiths clears well. Time's up on the clock. Harry's holds his feet nicely. This would be one of the most unbelievable finishes and games of sevens we've seen on the series if somehow Wales can get it done. Griffiths does well to hold his feet. They've got numbers, Wales, here, and they clear it long. Charging down that left side is Harris. Jason Harris needs to stay in. Just keeps it inside the field of play. No! He's caught the touch line. That's it. That's full time. That is an instant classic. Exhaustion from Wales. Disappointment. They are gutted. They trail 28-0. Bit of feeling still in this one. Oh, it went to Harry's and he made so many metres down that left side. The cover tackle came in from Wanga and then Rawatha over the top. He did, oh, he's just caught chalk. Full time here in Vegas. The Daffodils are not happy. Fiji win 28 to 24 against Wales. Team. So both of these teams, Fiji have done the same. They've made some changes from their top lineup, and uh, this is the wonderful matchup that uh, is probably the best of the history of the IRB and the World Rugby uh, tournaments over the years. So many great matchups between them, and there's the New Zealand team for this lineup. You see Murphy Taramai, Lotte Rakabula, and uh, Jack Goodhue will be the forwards. And the Fijians, have, well, they've kept Kunitani and Langai and Mata in the forwards. So it's not a bad uh, Fiji team, I've got to say. Uh, Carl Tanana is with me for this one. Oh, most definitely, Keith. But interesting, they've left off their captain, Osea Kulanesau, and Jerry Tuwai. They're two playmakers. But make no mistake, New Zealand know that they lost the last time these two met in Dubai with a 26 to 12 drubbing. So that'll be in the back of their minds. I can tell you from personal experience. This game is always tough, regardless of who's in those jerseys. <laughs> That's the man who will know for sure, Carlton Anna. Here they come. This is the big time, New Zealand and Fiji. Have a look at these guys. 
if there are one or two on each side of the halfway stripe who are not first picks for their coaches, they'll be trying to play their way in in this one. Remember, both of these teams have qualified for the knockout phase. They're playing four positions here. Gordon Titchens is resting probably four of his squad, possibly because he knows his team has already qualified and uh, maybe they can beat the best of what's offered from Pool D. Very good referee for this one, Rasta Rasavenge of uh, Australian nowadays. Works for World Rugby on the tour, full time on the tour, does the women's tour as well as the men's. And when they clash, he does the women's events. And uh, this is uh, messages on the arms as we look for Bodine Waka. Okay, now he'll play an all important role now with the uh, loss of, of Gillies Kaka. Yeah, they're taking responsibility, they're kicking responsibility. Go all to Bodine Waka, and that's a nice one to start for him. So a nice kickoff, 50-50 ball, bouncing around on the hands. Number 12 for New Zealand is Ambrose Curtis, cleared away by Jack Goodhue. Remember, some of these guys are very inexperienced. There is Waka, number six. Taken quickly by the side stepper, Joe Webber. That's so important for the New Zealand team, Joe Webber. Very elusive on the run, and when the uh, Fijian defence was a bit scrambled, he found his way through. Only a young man, but has to step up, especially on attack, and he does here. Joe Webber taps it quickly. It's so tough to defend when you're going backwards, when you've got a guy who can step by that key. A left foot step, a little goose step, a la Wallace, Waisale Serevi, the Fijian great. And he gets the points started for New Zealand. Started for five for Joe Webber, the kick to come from Bodine Waka. What a kick. It's a great start for New Zealand. They're up by seven to nil. Well, Gordon Titchens and his new back to young kids coming on. They've had their top three taken out with Tim Mickelson, DJ Forbes, and now Gillies Kaka gone. And he's showing faith to these young kids, such as Bodine Waka on screen, and they haven't let him down. Now we have Semi Kunatane, big try scorer on the series so far. Good chance now for Manu Langai, 22 meter line, taken by Viri Viri. Now it's William Mata. Oh, gets it clear for Rawatha. And a lovely try for Sabanatha Rawatha. Well, they're just so rangy, aren't they, the Fijians, when they run? High knees, arms everywhere. But they can just step and offload. Look at the way they're able to fend off. Get this ball away in contact. That is beautiful for Mata, and he gives it to Rawatha. What a great reply from the flight. Fl flying Fijians. Ravuvu was the kicker, and so they're two good conversion attempts. Over it goes, a seven all it is now. There are those religious quotes there. Philippians 4.13, you can look that one up. That's been the inspiration uh, for the Fijians for the last several seasons now. Savanatha Rawatha, he's just Lucknow. scored the try. Cleared away now by Mata. Kunatane, number one. Now, New Zealand just can't get the ball. Now they've got it from Ambrose Lotte Rakambula. Here is Goodhue. Don't often see Goodhue in a running roll. Battles his way through. Ambrose Curtis. Now, Sherwin Stowers having his first run. He's tough, hard, elusive, and very quick. Entry by you. Entry. Well, Sherwin Stow, it's great to see him get his first captain's armband for this game. Being very physical. You can see there the experience of Lotte at Eichenbuller. The Fijian born New Zealander in jersey number four got caught in late after the injury. 
after several injuries in the New Zealand team. And there is Gillies Kark, and there's the sad news for New Zealand. A broken hand, and so he's out of the tournament, obviously, and out for the next few weeks. Next tournament uh, for this tour for the uh, HSBC Sevens is over in uh, Hong Kong at the end of March. So do the math. Will he be ready? 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 New Zealand, no doubt. Hope that he will. Nice work by Goodhue. Nice work by Waka. Change of direction by Weber. Murphy Tatamai. He, now he's very hard, a hard runner. Kunatani got him well. Good Hugh. Rock and baller playing in the backs where he has a Commonwealth Games gold medal. Ambrose Curtis, well, he's got a few medals himself from the tour in the last couple of years. Good Hugh, brand new on the tour, just his second event. Chance for Fiji to break out of the red zone, been under attack, and Kunatani, such a big, powerful man from Nandi, the 24-year-old. Very, very. Oh, there's a little pop kick. Well taken by a twisting, turning torso of Ambrose Curtis. Rolls his pass off to his captain for this match. That's Stowers, Rakambula. Hey, you must release the tackle player. Oh, energy sapping stuff here. Very physical, very physical, as you'd expect, Delicious. between these two teams. Taking it to another level, and they're just going to slow it down. A lot of hands on hips. A lot of players having to take that contact, get cleaners in their halfback there quickly, and it's just energy sapping. Look at that. Emoshi Mulivoro, there is a the, uh, naval officer. Very fine rugby player, too. Way, he was way out to his home village, his way out in Kandavu. And when he first got picked in the Fijian team, it took uh, days for the message to get through to the family. Back. Look where rugby has taken him. On you, back, back. Just seconds to go in the first half here. A try each, a conversion. It's seven all. Tidied up by Rakambula, presented to Tatamai. Murphy Tatamai's third and fourth tournament is at Stowers. Now, Curtis gives it a go. Good in pass. Weber sidestepping in. Two for Weber. Oh, what does the touch judge say? We look to the referee. He's going to have a chat. The Fijians want to run on upfield. Geez, well, I thought this looked all right. Referee Rasavenge. He's got his flag up. Okay, I'm gonna go upstairs. RBR. He's gonna go and have a look. So this is RVR. Referee video review. The referee looks to the board. And let's have a look. It's all about the feet and the sideline. As soon as you touch the sideline, you're out of play. And does he get the ball down? Well, it's hard to see because there's a player obscuring. Remember, the flag, the corner flag has nothing to do with it. Hmm. What do you think? Have a second look, Carl. He might I have just... just want to have a look at another angle. He wants, yep. he he wants to have another look at another angle. Let's go, line up, line up. No, yes, he's going with the the touch, as a call. I think he's correct there. Swinging feet or over the sideline. Come back on. All ten, all ten. Climbing high. Langai. Half time, seven all. Great attacking defence from New Zealand. But uh, tenacious D from Fiji as well. That's a rock. It's a good name for a pop group. And to the sideline they go now. What does the referee say here? It is half time. Good, thrilling stuff of the traditions of New Zealand against Fiji at the break at 7 all. If no one's near you, stare it down. We can take our time, eh? I want to see at the end of this game, I want to have a Dalano over there and say, you control the second half of this game, that's why we won. Yeah. 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 
So they're going for a prayer at this stage, the start of the second half. It's been a great rivalry between the teams. Wonderful rivalry built up now between uh, Ben Ryan and Gordon Titchens. I find it really conflicting, Keith, when the Fiji and say a prayer just before they're about to cut someone in half. <laughs> Brilliant, you love it. That's the way it is, though. Look at that crowd. Won't the USA rugby people be delighted? And uh, we've got all of today to go and then tomorrow as well. What a lovely scene looking across the Mojave Desert up to the Sunrise Mountains. Second half begins here. New Zealand and Fiji. Fiji got the bounce straight away. Rotavubu! Knock on, no key. Knock on! on. I was looking at the clock to be able to say, oh, 12 seconds. Well, they scored a 15 second try yesterday to Off Fiji. Hand, this yep. would have probably beaten that mark. Oh, aren't they so exciting? They can create something from. Look at this. Kunatani goes up. Jeez. Just. Let's go, please. Let's go, please. Yeah, disappointed in the background. Must have just tipped his little pinky as uh, yeah, they jumped up. All the change in the New Zealand front row there. They weren't quite organised as to who was going to be in the middle. So good Hughes in the middle of this one. At the tunnel, we've got to reset. It came up the OK, now this little guy that's come on, Jerry Duwai, keep an eye out for him. He's one of the four players on the tour who's twice been in the uh, dream team at uh, the end of a tournament. The other three are South Africans and J Jerry Tuwai. So he is a real spark. Oh, yes, indeed. And on the slippery surface, even more dangerous, Keith. And that's a strike against the head for Fiji. Cleared by Tuai. And a lovely little pop kick ahead by Rawada. Taken by Waka. Now he's kicked it away. Remember what Gordon just we mentioned it a number of times. It's just a little loose on the surface. And look at that for a good aggressive tackle by the man who kicked it up to Bo Dean Waka. And now Rawada. Turn over. Pass it off by Mata. Kunatane. Lost to the nine. What is the rim? Lock forward. You see, it would have been the case for an advantage there, maybe. It must have been a double knock on there, keep for Rasta to pull that up. I think some substitutes coming on for Fiji, their number four. Vidi Malua and also Scott Curry, the captain, and Rico Ioane, the young kid with a lot of reps. So there's Rico Ioane. There is uh, Ambrose Curtis. He goes to the sideline. So uh, Coach Titchens, Sir Gordon, has... Uh, more than a couple of his big guns in the second half. Now that it's nice and close, he'll be trying to uh, confirm it. And it's interesting too that Scott Curry will go into the centre position. He's usually, he's usually taken as a forward. But he's so skillful. Gordon Texas put him in the backs for this one. Well, well spotted. Carl Tanana, who sees the game with a wider vision than uh, pretty well anyone in the world, I'd say. Here comes Very Very. Oh, lovely run. Rawapa. Number 11. Caught by good news, right. having a good game, special in the event, Vidi Vidi. Cleared away to Kunatane. Fiji go into the lead. This is a good one. Oh, and they isolate Curry from the turnover from the scrum. Fiji really dominating in that area. And they have a mountain of fans here. Look at it, I thought he'd blown it initially. The Wathi had a man on the outside, but he comes in and clears it, does Vidi Vidi. And it was always tough to defend. Eikenbola was turned inside and out, and this could, well, he just keeps getting better and better. Semi Kunatani. So 14 to 7 now. Down in the lunchroom just a wee while ago, we were reading the USA Fiji Times as a, a, a newspaper published once a week for these good people who are Fijians resident in the USA. Circulation, 15,000 copies. We're having a look at them. All the news about Fiji Sevens, business industry, tourism, fantastic, both at home here and in the United States.
Vatimo Ravu Ravu will kick off. That's a Bodin Waka leaving the field for New Zealand. Oh no, sorry, that's him there. He left the field. Taramai, I think it Ta was. Murphy Taramai. Good who? From the far north of New Zealand. Tackle from a here. village called Kawa Kawa, where they have the train running down the main street. Good tough game this one. These yeah, teams have both qualified the for the quarterfinals, remember. Sam Dixon is on. They picked him up and thrown him away. But New Zealand still in possession. Weber firing it inside to Rico Ioana. He's been harder marked, I believe, here in Las Vegas than he was in Wellington. Raru, Ravuvu. Rawatha. That's a rush. Well, we got the Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there, doing some good work. No, just slow down. Couldn't have the experience. He knew he did a head of injury. They didn't, didn't need to go fast. They're in control. They're in front. And can ill afford injuries at this stage, Keith, as you start coming down to the money games. It's come up a little bit later on this afternoon. Get him on, get him on, get him on. Yes, these two teams, the winner will go through and... And so too will the uh, these two teams will go through, and so will the runners up. France, right. Australia, and Scotland are in the positions of qualifying from the other group. Right, come back on, let's go. Yep. And well done to the doctor no. there, who insists he goes off for a check. Increasing concern about these massive men of rugby now who weigh more, go faster, and therefore the collisions are bigger. So away goes. Katombio. Walker finds Curry, his captain, Weber. He's the tackler. He's lost it. Yep. Walker to his left. Dixon. Good here. Well presented. Dylan Collier, number five, didn't quite grasp the ball and it's rolled onto the Fiji side. And look what Vidi Vidi has done. It's going to be a touchdown. I've never seen Fiji kick the ball away so much, Keith, but they just want to get out of their own end of the field. It's got Curry cleaning up their work and they have one opportunity. Still a minute left, so plenty of time for New Zealand if they can stay composed and get it right. Well, it's gone to Dylan Collier, and uh, that was a good catch by you Collier from the 22 meter it. line. So, last seconds now, last chances. Joanna again, the big defense coming in on him from Vidi Vidi. Curry, good hue. Clears it beautifully out of the side of his hand. That was a sunny Bill Williams sideways pass and just seconds to go because it didn't connect oh they did all the hard work you added the overlap and then sam dixon comes in for the cut rather than staying on the outside you see there three and five were on the edge scott curry did everything right and sammy dixon lack of communication first thing to go, go with team, the time go team. last seconds in this one fiji in the lead over new zealand Taken by Goodhue to Waka to Ioane. Curry over the top. Goodhue, Dixon. Sam Dixon. Collier got a good sidestep too. A very good example of it. Rose's pass. Now Waka. It's going to come down to Waka's conversion. 40 to 12, he has scored it, but the kick will be from wide out. Oh, and he has given everything, Bodie Waka. Scored the try, and now he's got to convert it to level it up. He's the one to distribute it from the halfback position. Dylan Collier with a nice left foot step, right hand offload, and a Bodie Waka. Guts it out, and if he's successful with the kick,
New Zealand will go through as the top qualifier in this pool. What pressure is now on the young man. Very good kicker. 14 to 12. Can he bend it around? 14 12 it ends for Fiji. Late try by Waka. Both teams qualify for the post play, the post pool play, and they may meet again in the final. That was a thriller. Fiji won by 14 to 12. Ben, uh, they made you sit it out and do a tough at the back in there, but you got the chocolates. Yeah, and we we were stupid in that game. We gave away silly penalties in the first half, diving in on counter rucks. At the end of the game, we weren't sticking to our defensive system, making stupid tackles. So I know we won, but we shouldn't have been in a situation where it was almost a game that we lost. Well, you got it done. The uh, fans here really revving up behind your team this weekend. Yeah, look, uh, Fiji is about the most fanatical sevens country on the planet and um, it, it, I always say it, they're our eighth man and I'm very grateful for their support. And last year they made you do it tough yesterday against Wales and then again today they must be taking years off your life this mob. <laughs> I'm a ginger so I don't think I, I don't think I grey so much you know but look quarter final now it doesn't matter what happened there we must win this quarter final game against whoever it is. Go well. Thanks mate. Cheers. It is the start of the cup quarterfinals. France and Fiji getting together as you see the 43rd meeting in the series and Fiji holding a very strong 39 to 3 lead over Le Bleu. The last time they got together in Port Elizabeth in December and Fiji a 40 point victor 45 to 5. A little change in the uh, Fijian lineup certainly as you see the captain Kalinasau not in for this one. Try to work off uh, an injury, and the captain, at least for this match, will be Isaki Katanambao, uh, number six. I'm Bill Seward, and alongside Hall of Famer Gareth Reese, glad you could join us on Valentine's Day. The misses for you in town, excellent timing. Many points made by the big man there. Well done. Yes, and we got fireworks. This is the business end of the tournament, the cup quarterfinal. Fiji and the fans going crazy at the end zone here off to the right. Of course, they had a huge moment in the end of their pool play beating New Zealand. I think they'll be favorites going into this one against France. You see how they got there with victories over Samoa, Wales, and a 14-12 win over New Zealand. France, meanwhile, took care of Scotland 19-7. Australia and Brazil. Ready to go, France and Fiji. Ben Kraus of South Africa has the whistle for this one. Fiji in white, France in the blue and red. France 11th in the overall standings on the HSBC 7s World Series. Fiji in the three spot. Vatemo Robovo with the kick. Battled for it and taken by Guillaume Mata. Who 
Otani tried to take it out of the ruck and whistled up by Kraus, and away goes BG yet again. A chance to hit the final four. If they can get a victory here. Oh, spun off the hands of Viri Viri. Referee it went backwards. Play on. Yeah, and play on they do, and score on they do as BG. Samanato Rolata with a try. Got a big one against New Zealand and gets one to open against France. Ben Kelch is right on the scene there. Look at those fans. They're all in the right-hand end zone and having a blast. Here's the spilled ball. Just after that, the referee had said it was okay. Play on. So in the end, it was a simple run-in. Laka. Rolata having a good weekend. Had three of them in Wellington and uh, puts one down here for his second of the day. And from the very far corner, there you see, will be the conversion okay. attempt for Fiji. Up and over in okay. a 7-0 lead. Great kick. Great start to this one. Into the final eight here, the cut quarterfinals. Let us know who you think is going to win these ones at hashtag USA 7s. That's the number 7S. Good tilt here. French have got to deal with his kickoff better. Cleaning it up, Manuel Dalinga, but the whistle comes along. And I believe we'll have a uh, scrum. There is uh, Ben Ryan, the coach of Fiji. Got his team in third in the standings at the moment after six years with them winning five cups. Shifting over. To the island. Some fascinating comments by him after the big win against New Zealand. He said it never should have been that close. They made too many mistakes, too many basic errors. So he's trying to send out a tone to New Zealand. If they do get him again, Jerry Tawai, you ask why, and he answers Jerry taking it down as he's ripped by Barahua. And the whistle inside, and the penalty awarded to Fiji. And Bakatawa's going to have a seat. Bad spot for France. Fiji knocking on the door with more players than France. Kunatani powers forward. A shirt tackle by Dalenga. Out it comes. Katanaba to the corner. And look who's putting it down yet again. Rolatha for a double. Too easy. Bakatawa. Deemed to have given a professional foul. There he is, serving his time, two minutes. Because he was only yards from the try line. This one popped out of the ruck. Easy stuff. And a little bit cocky there. Mothaka. 15. So a chance to go up 14 to nothing, just three minutes in to this cup quarterfinal. Got himself a shot. I'm gonna push it a little bit wide, so keep it at 12 0 Fiji. Fiji, of course, last year here at Las Vegas, even at their greatest effort, won the bowl final over Kenya after opening day victory over Scotland and then very close losses to Australia and New Zealand. France, on the other hand, lost the plate semifinal to England last USA 7s. Up high, making the grab is Jonathan Lozell. Still a half minute in the sin bin. Left for Bakatawa. Candelo tries to get around the corner. Does, and France able to whip it around Barajo. A nice handling by the French. And Candelo flings it back, but the whistle will stop play. Great interplay from the French there. Barajo at the heart of it. Wisely keeping things tight, letting the clock tick over. And you will see Rakakawa back on the field. Oh, maybe the ball would have gone out of play before it. So, one more chance for Fiji to take advantage of the extra man. Up high it goes, and on the motor is Robobo. He in turn gives to Viri Viri. Viri Viri spinning the fun mobile back inside. Gives right side to Katanamba. What a pickup. Off the turf by Viri Viri and Mata. Just about five out. Kunatani getting a bit closer. <laughs> Slapped around. That might have been close to being knocked forward, but Tuai restores order. Or does he? 
Oh, I think we got ourselves a trifecta to the corner for Lawatha. That might be the easiest uh, hat trick we've seen in a while. All scored on the identical spot. That is classic Fijian rugby. You think it may be a knock-on? Awesome stuff from them. Very, very showing why he was the player of the year, keeping the play alive. And then good hands from Revolvo. Wow, that's a pretty quick hat trick. Five and a half minutes. Gets it done. You see, he's in that top spot with Japan's Lamano Lameki with five uh, so far on the weekend. And we are far from being over. Not only this contest, ooh, iron unkind. So one kick down the middle, one to the right, and one off the post. He's got to get the other post, and he's got the full deal. Okay. <laughs> Just keep firing. 17-0 Fiji in a cup quarter final with under a minute to go in this first half. Fiji, of course, the 1997 and 05 Rugby World Cup Sevens champions. Also the World Series champions in 06. Making the graph a big man with Jean-Baptiste Gobelet for France. Logel. Logel switching sides. Definitely done. Logel has some support. Candelon comes in. But the big mitts of Kudatani. Grab a hold of the oval and present it back to his side. There's the try score. Rawatha, the bounce, comes to Barahua. And the whistle with the knock and the scrum to Fiji. Nothing going the way of the French right now. Scrum pulled, you got the scrum. It's Saturday evening to see Terry Barahua's year statistically, and you got two of the older teams in this tournament. Uh, Fiji, uh, the average age is 26. That's second oldest to France, which is 26.42. Yeah, Julian Candelon talking about taking a run at the Olympics. He'll be 36 years old if he gets selected in France, make it to Rio. I'm not going to be the guy to tell him he can't do it. <laughs> he, uh, at times, uh, shines brilliantly on the pitch. And so does Rolatha with his three tries already. And a large extension from the ground there. The penalty, and away goes Fiji yet again. Out of the hands of Kunitani. He fires it to Viliami Mata. Uh oh, four. Oh, We're going big four. man with the soft hands and oh, inside. Semenatha Roatha. Another look at Fiji and the skills exhibited. The big man. At six foot five, Mata, 235 pounds, keeping that one going and then capping it off with Rawatha. Well, the French aren't happy. We are scrambling down the hall to see if anyone on the circuit on the HSBC Sevens World Series has ever scored four tries in one half. We get Sean Glover on the case, but that's a remarkable performance. <laughs> the lead at the half for Fiji. 24 to nothing. control the ball here and we play territory game over you learn your lesson from last night against Wales yes yes, yes. 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 you all can go up another rank but we make sure that we look after this ball this ball is our friend now for the next yeah. seven minutes yeah. and our defense is professional clinical and good decisions we go polo when it's on we go Palazzo when it's on sets
Ready to start the second half. Fiji with a 24-0 lead on France, and it has been the Semenafa Rawafa show so far. Yeah, I'm being told the four tries not exactly that rare. From only got us out, got six in a match. Let's see if we can get there. Gobele goes for it. That knocked on, and the scrum will go to Fiji. Right place, right time, and it helps that you have very talented teammates too, doesn't it? I think in terms of we looking at this tournament, Fiji really coming into their own here in Vegas. Starting to play well together. Frederick Pomerov's men not quite had the possession to establish themselves in this game. Fine. You saw the impassioned plea at the half by Pomerov. Stolen head. And France. Oh. Taken around the corner. Jean-Marcel Boutin. Boutin puts it in. Well, the first possession they get, you heard them talk about it at halftime, they scored. Good show and go here. And uh, perhaps Rukaku was a little tired because he didn't do his job in defense there coming across. Hey, you want me scoring tries or making tackles? What's the story here? Look at this technique. Al Baladejo. Sort of, sort of creeping up on it on the kick, huh? Yeah, Monsieur Notla dropped there, obviously from the great Al Baldejo family from Dax. His dad known for the drop goal. That one didn't quite make it. He's been relatively quiet, and we'll need to step up if France is going to get back. And the final words from Ben Ryan were, remember what Wales did to us last night? They came back, almost took a 21-point lead away. On the restart. Grabbed up high by Mata. Sets it back toward the other side and stepping through is Revovo. Keeping his feet, well done, is Jerry Tawai. That one spills forward. France picks it up and the whistle brings it back. So scrum possession again, a glimmer of hope for the French. You know, we saw a Bhutan score and making his debut on the World Series this weekend. So while down 24 to 5, still some, some consolation for the 23 year old. Got a couple of caps uh, against Wales and Argentina. More impressive on the 15 side, too. I wonder if you might have a look at this short side at the bottom of your screen. Baladejo steps back to the middle and hit hard by Katanenbaum. Holding up. You joined it. And Fiji likes. You joined it. The blue took the ball in, didn't produce it. So Fiji put it in. Two. Sub. Time off. That will be Dalinia off the field. Dalinia comes out. Brian Dimek going to try in his Hong Kong 14 debut with the 24-year-old stepping on wearing the three. Also, Stefan Perez in the nine in there for France. Tawai oh. does his own little show. It goes to ground, but picked up by Very Very. Very Very. In turn, off the foot of Revovo it goes. The race is on. Al Baladejo scoops it up. And coming back with the, the ball is Stefan Perez. It'll be well to stay on the field there. Spun by Dimek. To Bhutan. Vakatawa manages to go east-west a whole bunch and gets itself free for a moment. That is until Semi Kunitani with the takedown. Perez, Lagelle, Dimmick, 
Faramalua comes across. A nifty tackle there. Three minutes to go in the second half. Fiji with the ball and a 24-5 lead on France in this cup quarterfinal. Demek ran away from the support there. Puts Fiji back on the attack. Kunatani down. Clearing it out, Rawatha with four tries on this match. And with two and a half to go, you saw, by the way, maybe at halftime if you were watching, that uh, the normal captain for Fiji, Osea Kalinasau, with that right hand cast it up, he may not see much more tournament time. I'm guessing. Normally you'd say that's a huge loss, but it seems to be the other Fijian players are stepping up. Getting some great efforts from uh, Jerry Tawai, Mosi Mulavoro, and certainly some of the big guys, including Rawatha today with four tries in this match. Revovo with the tackle. Gobele managing to power forward. And Gobele. That one intercepted. Vera Malua sticks it out to Y. Jerry! Jenny, 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 Jenny! Can they run him down? Coming fast, but gives it off to Very Very in the corner. He hasn't given the try yet. Timeout signals he's going to have a chat. Let's hear what he has to say. Firstly, in touch or not? I'm close to my perspective. Okay. I think it's going to be safer to go off. Good. We're going to go have a look for touch. Are you happy with the grounding? Okay. We're going to go for all of you off. So referee Kraus is going to use the video screen, which is off to his left in the end zone. The referee review. And this is the look he's having here. I think the feet may be in touch, Billy. What do you think? The yellow boots touch the whitewash. Would think so. Before the ball gets down. He's allowed to have a second angle here. He's had another look. Got a decision. No try. In touch. Wait, wait, wait. The, sy the system works. It does. I was going to say textbook use of the referee review. By Ben Crouch. Good work on him. Time is, time is still off. Time is off. Good work on our crew, getting those shots up for him. Ben and the crew getting it right. One, and nine, that's and what they want. As substitutions now for Fiji. Atomic one. Look like uh, Mulavoro and Langhai. From deep in its own territory, France trying to come out. Bhutan. Spun between the posts. Logel. It's left for Dimek, but oh. kicked forward by Waka. And <laughs> got one on it. Sitaveni Wanga showing his football skills there, his soccer stuff. Ball spilled. Watch this first tap. Nice little touch with the left boot. Then a second one. Then the big mitts come down and come touch it down. Under a minute to go and a 29 to 5 Fijian Lee pending this conversion. As Revovo. Gonna try one from the side here. Deftly done. 31 5 Fiji. The coach Ben Ryan from Fiji's gotta be happy not only with the result that's coming, but also the nature of it. Not particularly taxing for his players. This is the fourth game of the tournament, the end of day two, and really they haven't had to stretch themselves too far physically, so they'll be nice and fresh for the semifinals of the Cup come day three tomorrow here in Vegas. You kind of like, too, right after you put those substitutes in, that they are a huge part of the score. You see time coming down the final few seconds and being held up. That's not a mall. As far as they play on, Logel trying to fend to the end and able to do a little spin move on Revovo. Albaladejo. Oh, another pick. Down goes Langai. 
Kind of sums up the French effort. Nothing's really gone right for them. Got a chance here to punch one in. Out wide it goes, and taking the step was Reno Del Mas. Back to Perez, but pretty good defensive response by Fiji. Hit hard as Gobele as he runs into Katanamba. Now it's a mall. Tackle on the ground. Penalty awarded to France. One last shot at it. Al Baladejo to Brian Dimek. And France crossing over for five more. Twenty-four year old gets a nice little bonus here. In the evening lights in Vegas. Good hands. Good great pass from Al Baladejo. A little bit too little, too late. That's certainly the case. 31-10. The score here. Can Al Baladejo make it a dozen for France? I'll give him that one. Yes, sir. Fiji 31. France 12 in this cup quarterfinal. Getting those hands up. And South Africa going to meet Fiji for the 58th time with Fiji holding a 34 21 and 2 advantage. I mentioned Kyle Brown, you see on the Fijian side, the captain Osea Kalinasau, a hand injury, that's casted up. He will not be playing, and taking over the captaincy will be Asaki Katanambao. Should be a good one. The HSBC Sevens World Series. Fiji on the left in white, South Africa on the right in the gold and green fluorescence. I am honored to be alongside former New Zealand seven star Carl Tanana Bill Seward with you and Carl it's a great showdown between well you got a Fijian squad that they've won the Rugby World Cup sevens a couple of times won this tour back in 06 South Africa took it in 09 and South Africa the two time defending champions here in Las Vegas yeah Fiji for me yeah, Bill, Fiji for me are the form team in this competition so far. South Africa haven't had it all their way, but they play better than last week. And they look very composed, they look very structured, and that'll be what their case has been around, especially with Kyle Brown in charge. My apologies for leading you right up to the sound bite there. There's Federico Anselmi of Argentina with the whistle. He's going to... Uh, Try to keep this one fair. Be a law enforcer, as it were. Cecil Africa, of course. What a year he had as the player of the year back in 2011 in World Rugby. He will start things off. South Africa with a cup quarterfinal victory over England 21-14, while uh, Fiji was a 31-12. winner over France and they're switching sides which completely throws me off this PGM team though Bill they want to play on intensity a big one out with Osea Kalini Sal he's such an important member of this Fiji inside with his leadership so someone has to step up and the guy for me from Fiji Semi Kunitani he is the complete player in Jersey one look out for him unbelievable Kunitani all right now going left to right Across your screen will be South Africa with Cecil Africa to get it underway. Up high and Kunitani fighting for it, didn't get it. Looked like Mata might have fell down on it, but picked up by Bronco Dupria. Dupria taking it about 10 meters out. Carl Brown spins it off to the big man, Horn. Werner Koch might find an opening, gets it across or close to it. 
and it spits out. Come back with the Brown. Holds it a long time and takes a big hit for doing so as Mata returns. And yet Kunatani hammered by the Blitzbacher. They're going to bring that one back, but not before. Very, very gets a shoulder from somebody. You see Coach Ben Ryan on the sidelines for Fiji. Got his squad in third position in the standings overall after spending six years with England. Uh, ben coming over to Fiji and the Fijians are doing well I would say as uh, Duprea goes back can't holster that one and on the bounce replays it and Frankie Horn Frankie Horn Frankie Horn found the fountain of youth he's a runner I tell you a dancer too Smith dragged down by Viri Viri Quag tries to present it to Cock does Brown with the flavorful boots leaves one over to Smith but the whistle and the scrum will go to Fiji Neil Powell he'll be pretty happy with his troops so far Frankie Horn he's already shown what an integral part of this game plan he's going to be especially against Fiji because you need a tough guy to make him tackle you take him to deck and then shift the ball quickly you're going to need a couple tough guys to make some pretty tough tackles against this Fijian squad is Jerry Tuai wearing the nine Holding that one, going to feed the scrum with the watchful eye of Bronco Dupria alongside him. Spinning it, Revovo. And then Viri Viri taken down by Werner Koch. Werner Koch getting a bit physical there. And yet again, as he gets a hold of two eye. Fiji last year in Vegas won the bowl final over Kenya. They're feeling like they need to do a little more than that last year. And the big man, Mata. Rumbles through and another big guy, Kunatani. Yeah, he's semi Kunatani, but he's full on Kunatani here as Africa chasing him to the line. One of the best players on the planet at the game of seven, semi Kunatani. Taking it to another level at semi final time. Look at the power here, the fend off of Quagga Smith. That is no mean feat. And then he goes around, says, a Bronco de Priya. So he's used his power and his pace in one movement. And then his fitness to run 80 meters on the flight. A burn off Cecil Africa. Impressive. Capital I built. He's a farmer and he knows how to grow it. He also knows how to plant it. And he put that one down for the 20th try on the season for Kunatani. The 24 year old 6'3, 213. And you see, well, you see he's got this year uh, points wise. Well, he gets it done on both sides of the ball. He makes tackles, he offloads, and he's able to score a huge number of tries. He is complete, and, and he's huge, too. I mean, he's a little over 6'3 and 215, and when a guy runs that fast, he looks even bigger. <laughs> Especially from behind, which a lot of people are normally. <laughs> Revolvo with the restart. Far side. Sonatla. Oh, Sonatla hit well by Mata. Mata goes splatter. Duprea rolled over. Brown clears it out of there. Smith back inside Sonatla. He leaves it. Frankie Horn. Oh, intercepted. Fiji going back the other way. Not gonna get him. Mata. Oh, what a beautiful read on defense from Mata. He's exhausted after that run. They had the numbers to the left-hand side. Did the blitz blocker. Frankie Horn delivers it to Kyle Brown, the captain. As soon as he threw it, you could see that he knew. Oh, no, thrown it to the only bloke in a white jersey. <laughs> and the desperation on the face of Mata. He knew he had to get over. You've got to take every opportunity, and he does. A great effort by Werner Koch coming across and really trying to snap that thing out of there. But Mata at 6'5 and 235, you're trying to tackle a locomotive. Well, that's where it's so unfair on a lot of teams because all these blokes are so big and so strong and so fast, whether they're back or forward. And Fiji with a 12 0 lead on South Africa in this. The cup semifinal. 
Neil Powell, yeah, I would say concerned, and then some. Can't sleep on them. No build a South African team. They've been here before. Now you give it away like that, especially in the big ones, it's going to be painful for you. And look, a spot opens right up, and it's punched up. Kawhi going for it, but coming back now is Africa. His running mate, Sonatla, Sonatla to Dupria, and he can't find the handle. Oh, you thought for a second, Carl, that was an automatic. You got those three guys motoring and tossing it back and forth with each other. You would think that would do it. Quagga Smith with a good hit and hold up on the defensive side. Not rolling away, however, and so the penalty awarded to Fiji. Dragged down is Revovo. The ball knocked forward by Frankie Horn, and that'll bring a whistle and maybe a card. Oh, this is tough, Bill. This is tough for me. He's saying that he knocked it down intentionally, so he's going to sit the next two minutes. Frankie Horn making it all that much tougher on D. So Horn has a seat with a little over half a minute to go in the first half. Wait, wait, wait. Which means uh, he should come into the second half maybe a minute and a half into it I know it took me a while Carl because my <laughs> math my math is just terrible well, I did it three times at tough on Bill so don't ask me <laughs> but we PG have been so impressive in this game is that they've out muscled the bully they've been very physical in this first half the kick to touch and so on this near side will be the line out for Fiji with a 12 nothing lead with time winding down in the first half and Frankie Horn in the sin bin Fiji looking for yet another one is to to Revovo Revovo gives back to to circling back inside and a nice move hello Jenny stepping up in the playmaker role Jerry to so good with his footwork, see that nice inside offload from Revolvo. He was a standoff. Saw Jetty Tuai trailing. Look at that. The way he's able to just stop and go on a dime belt. Just can't teach that. I talked to Jerry. He says he wants to be a pastor when in the future here. And he had some of his minor prayers answered there, crossing the paint. The conversion attempt by Revovo. Yes, sir. -y. It is Fiji with a 19 to nothing lead at the half of their cup semifinal showdown with South Africa. The Sunrise Mountains in the background. A beautiful setting in Las Vegas on a Sunday afternoon. Glad you could join us and let's listen in to Coach Neil Powell of South Africa. So uh, it's coming single cut. So one, two, one, and then see out. All right, so now there's Barry's. I'm going to have the Barry's in the middle. Tell me what's going on inside. Fuck on Carl. Fuck on Carl. The base block is the base block has a cheese. It's kind of like this. Right. You know, Matt, you were here and the dog you were talking about the rugby end. All we have to do is beat up Malmalua. Penalties, kick to touch, take our time. Territory. Still play our way. If it's on, it's on. But kick off, eh? We look for the space. None of that over in turn, Matal. Frankie's off. There'll be a space somewhere. But it's all about regaining possession, looking down blind sides, and in Thalu all the time. Not just once, not just twice. Walk around the ball all the time. If you're defending next to Sammy, you're next to Mossy, you're next to Ice, we are Talanoa, we are talking. Eh? Hey? Yeah. Hey? Hey? Yeah. Yeah. Come on! Hey!
The last words here by the captain, Osea Kalinisau. And interesting to see Ben Ryan, the Fijian coach, fired up, talking about territory, using the kick, whereas South Africa, Neil Powell, very calm in his delivery with his message to the South African team. Yeah, you saw Kaleas, uh, Osea Kalinisau with the uh, cast reaching up there in the, the middle of that huddle. He, of course, with a hand injury earlier in the tournament. And yeah, sure, they could use him, but you know what? They're doing okay at 19 to nothing at the half against the two-time defending champions. Revolvo had the kick and got it swatted back to him uh, by Vera Malua, and now heading to the corner, Kunatani. Well, I know you got a guy in Seattle called Marshawn Lynch. They're gonna have a little talk about it. Gone. Yeah, the thumbs up, like I was going to say, Bill, you got a kid called Marshawn Lynch. He goes into beast mode. Well, I tell you, this number one is doing exactly the same here in America. Nice tap back. Look at that, flying in the air, body contact. A good release from Ravovo, and this kid straight away palms off with his right hand, then his left, then a right again, and scores with a guy on his back. Oh, my goodness. You run out of superlatives for the bloke. Let me give proper credit to who went up in the air sacrificing his body, and that is the captain for this match uh, for Fiji, Isaki Kitanabao. At 6'3 and 205, he went up ever so. I mean, talk about some springs, and then didn't really care about where he landed or how he landed, as long as he got that ball back to his teammate that resulted in a try. Frankie Horn off the uh, seat in the sin bin, and a 24-0 Fijian lead. Werner Cox runs into Joshua Vera Malua. Phil Snayman. Ooh, a little bowl in a china shop. Phil Snayman. To Carl Brown weaving his way through. To Werner Cox. Oh, a trio of blondes for the Blitzbacca. And then spins it off to Bronco Dupria. And Dupria. To Sinatla. Snayman picks it up. Africa's out there and could walk in from here, but it, he'll run anyways. Cecil Africa dotting it down. It's still a long time to go in this game, Bill. Over five minutes before they scored that try. Exactly what this game needed, and especially the Blitz Bocker. Some confidence. I think they need to get Sinatla on the wing rather than at the center position. He sets it up there. They get a good clean and a nice release there from Snayman. And then Cecil Africa, he gets it started for the Blitz Bocker. What a difference this game looks like if you don't have that second half kickoff go so Fijian. Uh, if if you are a Neil Powell, you'd be looking at uh, just being down, what, 10 points at this, and, and then all of a sudden everything changes. But Ben Ryan sort of emphasized to his squad, let's get that, get that one early if we can. And they did. On the restart, Africa with four tries uh, in Las Vegas, the 2011 Player of the Year. Getting close to 1,000 points. He's the all-time point leader, South African sevens. Kunatani. The very, very. Oh, and some big stepping on the way. Hold it up, Kutanabal. It gets uh, booted free, and there will be a whistle. Oh, no, we might have a conversation card. in a card. Uh, you know what? Some days it's just not your day as first Frankie Horn went to the penalty box and now Carl Brown to the sin bin. Yeah, ill discipline will kill you in any top level sport. In South Africa, unfortunately, having to be forced into doing that because they just have no ball, no position. Look at him, he's carrying it like a loaf of bread. Goes down to the deck. Good tackle by Werner Koch there. And the early tackle there it is there. Yep, justifiably so. Gets a yellow card. On the line out. As Kyle Brown watches, South Africa with six men. Fiji with seven. Chris Dry wearing the one jersey into the contest for South Africa. Dry, the 27-year-old, had 25 points in the Las Vegas tournament last year. Very, very. The 2014 player of the year thrown down to the ground holding on and so 
a break of sorts for South Africa. And then a loss of possession. Back it comes this way. And getting to extend the boots and move a little bit is Jossa Veramalua. Veramalua, the only support he's got is green, but he flicks it to Chris Dry, who gets run over by Emosi Bulavoro. Back to the center, Sonatla. In turn, Warwick Yolan. And the forward pass means a scrum to Fiji. Well, they're just hitting and hoping now. South Africa, time really is against them. And Fiji, defense outstanding in this one. Coming up, line speed, shutting down the threat of the likes of Sonatla, not letting them give one inch of space. And when you're down to six men, Bill Well makes it all that much tougher. Look at that ball given away. Over twice as many, and in the big games, you just can't do that. Manuele Lanai into the contest, wearing the two for Fiji. And then on the South African side, the eight is Rhino Benjamin, the nine, Roscoe Speckman. A reminder coming up, got a pretty good showdown for you on paper. We'll see how it plays out on the pitch. New Zealand and the USA in the second cup semifinal. Five, seven. To why? Back to the center, Ruvovo says, look at my red boots. And while you do, I'll move forward. On the turnover. Off and running. South Africa and Sonatla. You're not gonna catch him. Who finally gets on the game on the wing where he should be. This kid has been outstanding over the first three rounds. Nice run there by the replacement, Speckman, and he gives it to this bloke, Sio Bala Sonatla, and he has got home run speed built. Oh, big time. 120 points coming into this tournament uh, this season. Had a birthday on Tuesday, turning 22. I don't think he lost a step. Oh, he's a good kid, too. Very well mannered, very humble. Warwick Gallant on the restart into the sun. And off the bench comes Kyle Brown. So at even strength, nicely done by Rhino Benjamin to keep it forward, but Kyle Brown, no, off the mark, scooped up, however, by Phil Snayman. He is thrown down. Still time, and they'll Bill. bring it back, yeah, to where they had an advantage going, and Gillan gets a couple meters out. Brown reaching in to try to extricate it from the pile. Done cleanly this time, and now Brown with it. Outside, Stamen going to make the step, put a hand down, get back up, and fill with the pill over the line. It's a 12-point game. They take the conversion quickly. They're going to have time for a kickoff. We're counting them down. Nine seconds. They've got to be quick. It'll be from an angle out there. And yet good. So down five points. And there will be a kickoff as uh, Federico Anselmi racing out to halfway. Oh, geez, he's oh you never know, fight. Carl. Oh, the kickoff. We spoke about it, how important it was. VG dominant. Now it comes down to this. Oh, who would have called it? And you got to look up into that sun. Will it go 10? It does. And grab. Nice mitt by Kunatani. And the advantage to Fiji. The man goes out, and that is it. Moving into the final. Fiji with a 24 19 victory over the two. Time defending champ, defending no more, South Africa. As we get set for the cup final here in Las Vegas 2015, the USA Sevens 
part of the HSBC Sevens World Series. Here are the teams. New Zealand has injuries, but no excuses. Every team has them. DJ Forbes and Tim Mickelson didn't make the flight, and Joe Weber has concussion, and he's out. And so too is Gillies Kaka, the uh, man who broke his hand yesterday. Uh, Murphy Tadamai has concussion and will not start. New Zealand has nine players for the final. Fiji has uh, lost their captain too. Osea Kalini Sao will not play, but it's seven against seven. So we also look at the rejig of the New Zealand team for the players who are left, and we look at uh, Scott Curry, Sam Dixon, Dillian Collier, and Lotte Raikambula. Which of those men will play in the backs? Because in recent times, they've all had time in the forwards as well. There's going to be explosions and fireworks before the game gets underway as the teams run out. There'll also be national anthems. Here they come. Las Vegas Finals 2015. So look at the Fijian players there. Sabanatha, Rawatha, brilliant player, Vetimo Rauruhu, Samasoni Viri Viri. The referee is Matt O'Brien of Australia. His last appearance on the Sevens Tour because he'll be off to do Super 15 shortly. There's a Super 15 match in four weeks in Auckland, New Zealand. God bless Fiji, and now God defend New Zealand. So the tension is building. The referee is from Australia, Matt O'Brien from the Gold Coast. And he's put in a tremendous record with the Sevens, 125th game, but shortly leaving the tour to go uh, to Super 15 refereeing. He'll be doing a match between the Blues and the Force at Albany in four weeks' time. But this is the job at hand for the young New Zealand captain, Scott Curry. He has injuries. And so we wonder how the game will pan out. The Fijians must be the favourites. They're going to swap over. It looks like the Fijians would be the favourites. They're unbeaten. They've got real racehorse in the backs. They've got real workhorse in the forwards. And they won yesterday. There is the nervous New Zealand coach, 
Gordon Titchens. I'm Keith Quinn, and with me is the former Canadian internationals. We look at Ben Ryan, the Fijian coach. So away we go in the final. Remember, it's 10 minutes of madness. Half time and then 10 more minutes of madness to decide the cup final in 2015, Gareth. We heard God defend New Zealand. That's the anthem. They're here in this final because of the lowest point scoring record. They've only allowed seven tries. Can they defend this potent Fijian attack? We'll see. Those coaches, Ryan and Titchens, resume their knife edge rivalry. That's not straight. And what we wonder, will the Titch tactics be with uh, injuries to his two of his key players, Gillis Carter and Joe Webb, and also Murphy Taramai. They have two concussions and one broken hand, but there's a broken hand on the uh, Fijian team as well. They've lost their vital man, Osea Kolinisau. So we look at the New Zealand back line and we see straight away that Rotu Raikambula is in the backs. He's got the ball. He's played Commonwealth Games gold medal in the backs as well as the forwards. Here's Sherman Stowers. He gives it to the teenage prodigy. Reiko Ioane, 22 meter line. Stowers handles again. Bowden Waka. Dylan Collier, that'll be the biggest game of sevens in his young career. And that one is played almost accidentally off to the corners. And it'll be a defending team, Fiji, throw in. Fiji line out. A real buzz in the stadium. The Americans have just finished. A lot of Fijian support here. California has a huge Fijian population. I think most of them have traveled here, Keith, ready to go. One of the key guys in the team in recent days has been Jetty Kuai. He makes a lovely throw, number nine. It's on the floor. It's called a knock on. Here's an early advantage to New Zealand. Scrum here. You see the signal by the referee back at the 15 meter and 5 meter intersection. Let's have a look. He's called knock on at the line out. It's brought down and it's dropped. So we look at the New Zealand scrum formation. Collier, who's a winger in the 15s game. Dixon, who's a regular forward. And Curry, who's a regular forward in the 15s world. Bodine Walker. New Zealand on hot attack. Can they turn the attack? Oh, fumble back with oh. Rakambola. Revolvo so close to getting a boot to that. So he's a tremendous player, Lotte. He won a gold medal at the Commonwealth Games level for the forward play and for back play at two separate events. So he's gone back to the back division with the injuries to those key players. So let's see how that plays out. Teams must attack. It's the final. Remember, six, seven minutes each way has gone. It's ten minutes each way now. Beautiful pickup off the floor by Rovovu. Lovely run here. And it's the little man in the big moment, Jerry Tuwai. I'm very surprised here at Waka, the sweeper. Pitched in. Looked like he had enough support. See him shooting through the screen there. That meant they were through and gone. Too high. Has got too much base. Conversion attempt from Rao Bubu. Over it goes for a 7 0 lead for Fiji. So, Gillies Kaka on the sideline. There's his plaster on the broken hand. He's out for four or five weeks, we understand. Yeah, the only guy did that is the referee has a quick word. It's the ability to make tactical substitutions in the 20-minute final. It's all changed now for Gordon Titchens. That's 
very hot down there. Well, they're playing into the shade now. And... Oh, lovely oh. pick-up by Waka. Right in a critical position. He makes a very stylish pick-up. But uh, referee assisted uh, Rasavendi has called across to the referee to talk, and it's going to be a scrum. I think he went to hold it out to kick with his right foot. And then the attention to the Fijians, but he couldn't get a boot on it. He's a brilliant talent, but this is pressure like he has never faced in sevens before. Two uh, Already a try next to his name. He runs wide. There are gaps. He gets two. Two for two wide. Have a look, set piece, solid base. Off the right foot, simple as that. Reichenbula, maybe not used to defending in that position, gets beaten on the inside. Well, it's a brilliant start for Fiji. They now lead by 40 to nil with the conversion over. No wonder they're happy. The kickoff again. Bubu. And straight away back in possession for uh, Bubu. And here he is, the guy that's got the two tries. Is he going for three? Of course he is. Mata. Wow. William and Mata. And he's going to get three. No, there goes Rakambola back for defense. That time Rakambola got him. Waka. Now let's see what New Zealand can do. Oh, oh. he kicked straight to Mata. It is frantic. Ball's gone out of bounds. This is Sam Dixon of New Zealand who's got something to say to the referee. You need to be quiet. Sorry, sir. Walk away. Hey, sir, walk away. What's that? What's that? What's that? Yeah, I'm telling you now, yeah. I see any sign of foul play, you put yourself at risk of a yellow card. Okay. You need to be yes, the sir. captain. Yes, sir. Don't incite things, keep them down. Thank you, sir. That's all you're going to get from me. Thank you, sir. Same thing. Yes, sir. Thank you. Well, <laughs> the captain, Asaki Katonimbao, has called him sir three times and then shook his hand. Well, let's see if we've got some foul play. Let's have a look here. Claiming a headbutt, perhaps. Oh, gee. Oh, well, that's, that's a, there might be uh, repercussions on that one afterwards. That was the man himself, Katonimbao. Locked the right and ball at the 22. So, Dylan Collier, big, strong lad. Katonimbao. Towers, Ioane. Defence coming across at him. Gets it up to his captain, Curry. Two and a half minutes to go, first half. Rakabula, he's a good passer, he's a very good technical player of the game. As Gareth Reese has suggested, he might not just be in the the best Whoa. knowledge of the way the game is played. He's trained in practice with him. He's very fit. But there's real pressure going in on Lotte Rakambula. He can cope. He's played 67 events on the tour as Rakambula. Space to run. Push ahead. Curry back. And he has to make a clearance. And he's, and he's missed his touch. Here comes Rawatha. Spinning it wide now to Rawubu. Katonimbao. Oh, that's it. 
Pan down on the New Zealand side to Collier. Okay, the one he has to get to his feet there. He's trying to buy some time. And O'Brien's going to his pocket for throwing the ball away after the penalty had been awarded. So Bodin Walker goes to the bin. It's crisis time for New Zealand now. Under the sun and in the shade for the team now. Six playing a rampant Fiji team. We're up 14-0, coming towards half time. And there is the third try. This one is to Sabanatha Rawatha. Sam Dixon seemed to have him contained. Watch that off the right foot. And look at this power. Just driving those legs. Dixon desperately grabbing the jersey. Doesn't win that battle despite the flailing leg. He kicked the ball away. And straight into the team last year at Dubai. And they uh, beat New Zealand 44 nil on that stage. And that... Uh, tournament and so here he is again up to 21 nil at half time they're on track to challenge that although new zealand might uh, have a say in that in the second half getting to half time here now in the final in las vegas and it's a fantastic effort by fiji and that one's kicked down to the dark corners <laughs> collier goes back and covers it so for the, the restart at the 22. Yeah, of course, the half won't end. The hooter has sounded. It will be a free kick for New Zealand at the half, a chance for them to do something to get back into this match. So New Zealand walking it up. They know this is the last play. They had some moments early in the half, didn't they? But basically dominated by the brilliance of the Fiji attacks. Kambula, Stowers, trying to clear space, in goes Collier, Rakambula, New Zealand has six men on the field, playing seven Fijians, 21 nil down, there's Uko Ioane, Keith, the good thing about that missed kick is it allowed New Zealand to take about a minute off the clock of the sin bin there with their possession. Just want to hang on here for the last few minutes. A few seconds, sorry. Semi Kunatani, number one, gets it away to touch. He's hardly had uh, much action in the game, and he's one of the finest players of the last couple of weeks on the tour. But half time has reached in this final. Fiji rampant at 21 to nil. Breakdown. Keep her and Talanoa left and right. Maui, Matau, Talanoa. Go forward, eh? Yo. All of you, this is important. So I keep off. We play, we keep. Simple. Still leading. Even though you see the bandage on his hands. How about those words from Ben Ryan? The next score is the most important try of our season. He's commented on how actually young his Fiji inside is. One of the youngest on the tour. What a display they gave us in that first half. Well, remember how they won in the Gold Coast in event one? Then South Africa won the next two tournaments. And New Zealand won a week ago in Wellington. Here are Fiji and New Zealand battling it out. Ten minutes to play. I'm sure the basic me message from Gordon Titchens to his team would be leave your lungs out there. Rico Ioani, he'll have a birthday next month and turn 18. Can't go into the pubs or the gambling <laughs> casinos here in Las Vegas. Can't do that for another two or three years of coming here, Rico. But he won't be thinking about that, obviously. His brother was here last year. He saved his best for the semi-final, his first two tries of the tournament. 
They're going to need some magic from him in the second half. On the Toka Toka Babas, uh, Vovo begins the second half and kicks it straight to the youngest man on the park. And there's a bit of football played by uh, Vovo. And now Kunatani. Been quiet in the first half, but probably the most dangerous man on the park. New Zealand are back to seven. Lovely work by Katanenbao. Ravubu. Down he goes. Katanenbao. Too wide. You could pick him <laughs> by the red shorts. Oh, no. That's amazing. Straight to Sarabi. Very, very. Short pass. Kunatani. It's brilliant, Fiji. Doesn't matter who you're supporting. It's just great sport. It's great rugby. Kunatani on the end of it. Just wonderful athleticism and footwork from the Fijians. Look at the light blue flags up in the top corner. They are the Fiji supporters here. We're coming in there, hundreds and, and thousands here. And goodness me, it's all happening for Fiji here. Another converted try. They're going up in the sevens final in multiples of seven. Watch this. This tackles from New Zealand. So here on the field now, New Zealand's gone to its bench. There's not many left on the bench after the injuries. Jack Goodhue was on the field. A long time and seven for him to play and make his mark. Bodine Walker. So New Zealand must go crazy now and to see if anything can unfold for them. That's a really withering total against them but still Curry who's looked every inch a leader takes it forward he's got Ioane with him to try and look at the tackle by Kunitani cleared away by Ioane to the midfield now Sam Dixon gets clear can't make a pass to good who oh yes he can and the young man from the far north of the North Island of New Zealand Jack Goodhue is in for the try Great resilience from the New Zealand side here. This was the final movement. Even he's limping as he gets up here. So here's New Zealand making, uh, well, there is uh, Sam Dixon doing what he is best at. That's catching high catches from his uh, Australian rules football background where there's a lot of leaping and jumping and catching, a lot of aerial play. But uh, it hasn't progressed too far for New Zealand. Now it's Fiji trying to flash the ball in their inimitable style. They have a penalty now. Fiji have not won a final in the Sevens World Series here in USA since 2007. The Wilbur's kick is a simple one for touch. It's Mark Harvey in the foreground from the support staff. Ambrose Curtis is, I think he must be the last one left on the yeah. bench to come on for New Zealand. Looking down there like a the troops. Casualty clearing station on both sides of this final. Two wide. 
Is it going to be three wide for the young man? He's got two tries already. Ravuvu, Kunatani. Oh, the no look. They are going crazy here. They've gone back to the traditional Fiji way. And is it going to be three? The two I know is caught down. Kunatani. Wow. Two for Kunatani. Isn't it great to think this Fijian flair and brilliance that we've seen over the years is now going to be part of the Olympic Games. The whole world can see these athletes in full force. You're absolutely right. We've seen that. Somehow when, uh, somehow when Fiji is in this kind of mood in a final, it's more spectacular when there are other teams who might be more structured in the way they play. Back they go to halfway now. It's 35 to 5 now the score. The conversion was successful. Remember, the Fijians have had this kind of form. Ah, so Jerry Tuai is off to the sideline. He's taking a rest. So good he takes it forward. Bit of guts and effort and commitment in the New Zealand team, but it's just not worked for them here. Referee Matt O'Brien from Australia. Dixon's played it. Gutsy hand as well. Here's good Hugh. A delayed pass into Dylan Collier. That famous now sidestep of his. Oh, he gets a sideways pass out to Ambrose Curtis, who's into the game. And New Zealand have a moment. Quick shot at goal. You watch them take this very quickly, and it's Bodine Walker's taken it within five seconds, so it's now 35 to 12. The youngster stepping up here. Interesting guy, Ambrose Curtis. You watch him in the close ups here. He hardly ever, ever speaks on the field. He plays the game in total commitment and concentration and silence. And that's a penalty. There might be a yellow card here. We look to the referee. Off you go. Yes, that's against Kunitane. And away he goes to the sideline. Interfered with the leaping, with the leaping New Zealand catcher. So, if New Zealand were to get a try, two minutes to play. Curtis, there's a few more spaces. Walker. Oh. Curtis! That's two for Curtis, who make the fast pass. And you watch how the quick the kick is taken. And New Zealand have gone up to 19. Still three scores away and uh, less than two minutes to play. We had an 82-point game earlier today. It's spinning a good offload off the ground for Vaca. Very tall man at six feet four, one meter ninety-four. Ambrose Curtis from Wellington, two tries to his name, and Dixon is doing tremendous work in there. Short pass from the sixth man Fiji team are well ahead at the moment. And here they come again, taking it wide out. And there's a big tackle going in for New Zealand from Ioane. Manu Langai is on the field. Clock ticks while everything is tangled up in there. And it's a penalty for New Zealand. Let's see what they can do. Still, with Fiji only six men in the seven-a-side game. Dixon goes in and takes two out. But Fiji drive over the top, and New Zealand have another penalty. And the man, did he throw the ball away? Referee says he didn't. Curtis, oh, unfortunately for New Zealand's hopes, he passed it straight to Ravovo, and now it's gone to Vidi Vidi. And that's a forward pass. It's a crazy game. It's crazy paving. 
and Semi Punatani is on his feet, but maybe he's not going to be uh, come on again. They're giving Sitavini Wonga to come on in his place. Frantic stuff here. Normally playing into the hands of the Fijians, but the Kiwis don't really have an option. Set. Seconds to go. Is there a final flourish for New Zealand? Curtis. Crowd is counting down. I suspect a lot of the people counting down have a Fijian accent. And it's over. And it's a beautiful moment for Olympic Sevens and Fiji Sevens as they've beaten New Zealand in the final by 35 to 19. To the winners, the spoils. The losers can only stand, sit and stare. And the celebrations for Fiji will be long into the night. Fantastic win, they came out fast and furious and New Zealand could not stop the total mounting. Well, let's see a clean here, Sal. You had to watch from the sideline. What does that win mean for the boys? Uh, it means a lot for us, because uh, for the race for the title and the points, we want to close the gap on uh, New Zealand and South Africa and claim one of the top four qualifiers for you. The defence was outstanding in their final, or probably all tournament. Yeah, uh, we've talked about it that uh, we got to get it on, on the field and uh, off the field. That's something we worked on and uh, our discipline. And uh, the boys had been uh, really good on, in the field on working on what the coach wanted us to do. One thing that was really impressive was that even though you were out injured and other guys swapped and changed, you had a good squad effort right across the weekend. Uh, that's uh, one of the strengths of our team. We said that uh, before we used to have expectations in the team. One thing we have now in the team is that we rely on the team and not on a, on a single person. I told the boys, if I'm out, there's a better person in the team that can uh, replace me, and they showed it uh, this weekend. Now just tell me about this huge Fijian crowd that come to support you here in Las Vegas. They were outstanding, weren't they? Uh, they are always outstanding in Vegas. There's always a lot of uh, Fijian supporters. They always come to Vegas. We always disappoint them in uh, previous years, but we were really lucky to win against a fabulous side like New Zealand. Now just tell me yourself personally, how long are you out? Hopefully you're back for Hong Kong. Uh, that's uh, why I didn't, uh, they didn't want me to play this tournament, because they say you need to look at the bigger picture. There's a Hong Kong. And uh, I'm just out for three weeks, so I'm looking forward to come back for Hong Kong and Tokyo. We'll get over to the boys and, con and congratulations, sir. Well done. Yeah, thank you very much. Osir Kolinisau, captain as the Fijian team sing a prayer. As they do, you can see the biblical quotes on their forearms written there to inspire them for their hopes and dreams and ambitions. And they played with a great deal of flourish today. And this is what I like about Las Vegas. Let the kids and the fans onto the field. Memories go back to Gareth Reese trying to interview the Samoans a couple of years ago. And they were carried away literally as he interviewed them. There's a man with the balls for a souvenir up his shirt. Great scenes here. A wonderful final to a fantastic tournament. The New Zealand team down in the four, round two in a, in a huddle of a disappointment and now marching away. There they go. They're going to have their heads up too. They have difficulties in making the final and putting a team on the field when you think of the, the two concussions and the broken hand. And they gave it plenty. And they played right to the end, but really that early flicker by the Fijians became a flame. Our presenters here on stage, Mr. Steve so Brennan, there Senior is Vice President and Regional to the left, Commercial Mr. Dan Executive, Lyle. HSBC Bank USA. Rich Dan Clark, Lyle, CEO USA of Rhino Rugby Worldwide. And Tournament Director. Dan Ron Lyle, Cornelius, USA 7th Team of Business Development. Mark Egan, and Mr. Mark World Egan Rugby. from Mark World Egan Rugby. With his arms folded. And there is Osir Colonisau, 
shaking hands with his left hand as the uh, battle scars <laughs> prevent him doing it in the more traditional way, shall we say. And well played, Fiji. Ladies and gentlemen, you can see the medals around their necks. You can see the tired faces after three days of sevens action right here in Las Vegas. Can we please? We got the Fijian captain on the side to the very front, please. Ladies and gentlemen, you're Las Vegas HSBC Sevens World Series champ, Las Vegas champions Fiji. So a wonderful moment there for Fiji Rugby. They're slapping each other on the back and congratulating each other. And look what Fiji they've done with that victory. They've inched up closer to New Zealand in the top three. And the gap to South Africa at the top has been closed by New Zealand as well. So what an exciting result at the end of the USA Sevens here in Las Vegas. South Africa retained their lead. Let's congratulate them on their performance here. They have 93 points, but their seven-point lead is cut to five. New Zealand now have Fiji chasing hard on the, between 88 points and 86. Australia, a little gap back to 71, and England are only three points behind Australia. Now remember, the positions one to four uh, after nine events will go automatically to the Summer Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro next year. So Australia and England are locked in that battle at the moment. That's the World Series table after five events of nine on the HSBC Sevens World Series for 2015. And there is a lovely moment. The great man, Waisali Serevi, has the, cup, the trophy. He's being mobbed in there by the fans. So the gentleman at the back heading away Celebrated with the team of today, the great man from yesteryear in sevens, Waisali Serevi, who's doing so much great work up here in the United States in promoting and coaching the game and bringing it to the high standards which have brought perhaps the USA team through to a fourth place here. So what a wonderful tournament it's been uh, under the spacious blue of Nevada and Fiji are the champions beating New Zealand in the final by 35 to 19. This has been a presentation of Fox Sports.